nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Are you saved? Yes. Can you tell your neighbor nimeokoka? Kama una neighbor hama, kama una neighbor hame. Kengodi either we the neighbor au hame kwa neighbor. Wewe zikao peke yako brother. Kama mali umeka you are just alone hama. How you import a neighbor? Mama jiko utahama. Wewe kwa baba au baba Dennis aje hapo. Aenda wewe neighbor baba mashiko. Ah, nani nani yako peke yake tena? Aya, eh? Aha. Haya, wewe uko peke yako utahama. Sasa wewe hama na huyu kujeni hapa. Sasa hiyo ni neighborhood. Huwezi kaa peke yako kwa nyumba, tena hapa uje ukae peke yako. Hiyo nita... maana ya kanisa ni fellowship. Ni fellowship. Unajua unaweza kuwa huna attitude nzuri. Let me tell the truth. Kuna watu usipoelewa siku mbili wako gradually understanding yako ya kanisa inakuwa wrong. Let me teach you. Na msikize. Leo <coughs> ukiwa na harusi nani atakuja? Ni hewa au ni watu? Utapikia nani? Nani atapika? Unahitaji watu wewe. Wacha bila muda. Kuna mtu anakuta anja asade peke yake hivi. Ah peke yake wacha ifike mahali kanisa inahitajika. Na inawaonya nyinyi. Hello praise God. Kuna watu kanisani the way you live ni kuhudhuria ibada ukitoroka. Hata kama nita he, tuoge ukweli. Tuasema fulani aka hospitali huna shughuli. Fulani anaolewa huna shughuli. Fulani baba yake ameaga au sijui kijana fulani ameaga huna shughuli. Let me the truth. Hallelujah. Leo mzazi akiaga na kuna watu kuna shida. Dio tajua ninahitaji watu. Wakati wa COVID matajiri waliokuwa najivuna waliacha. Eh, hey, wenye hoteli kubwa kama Hilton walijua au Intercontinental walijua pesa inatoka kwa watenja wanaolala huko. Wenye matatu walijua pesa ni passengers. Wanaanza madizi kule pesa ni wanunu. Zimuliaza hiyo mlaja majivu iliisha. Eh. Yeah. That's why Kristo aliomba akasema hivi. E hey, baba, hao watu ambao nimeacha wafanye kitu kimoja. Ili dunia ijue na wanafunzi wangu, haikusema uokoke ukae kivi yako. Make them one. Na apostolic faith we believe so much in the practice of fellowship. Na jina kanisa in original ni ekresia. Maana yake ni ushirika, kukusanyika na kushiriki kwa wale ambao wameokoka na wakatoka. Actually jina kutoka is very important. Ni kukusanyika na kushiriki kwa wale ambao wametoka umeacha umero wako ukalejini ukaleji wako nini ukaba si ndio umeacha upnu na odm na azimio na kwanza umeacha sasa kile tukoracho ni Yesu Kristo na nguvu zake haleluya bwana asifiwe sikutaka so, yako tuje watu wengi Vijana wameanza tabia ya wazugu ikaremea the private wedding. Pre- Taguri ni kwa na private wedding. Nani anaoa ni wewe. Na kuolewa ni dada. So kama ni private si muende leo private. Mjifanyishe mjifanyishe harusi. Na mtafute madhabahu private. Na mzazi wako akitaka kuja na kila shoshu ambia mami usilete akina shows ni private tabia ya wazugu ambao wameharibika kama kuna kitu mimi napenda proud ya wazungu si mbaya na dora lakini tabia yao out tabia yao eh mama mmoja alitoka hapa kijana yake alienda britain na akaoa mama akafikiri ndio tumezoea hii tajie kwa na mwana britain hawa 
amini mamba ya shosh huka na shosh hakuna ni mume muke na watoto full stop alipofika alilala nje aliambua what do you want kwa tebelea akaambiwa tutaita polisi hiyo interfere lini kwa kuna visit jambo lingine kwa nani para grad siji grandson mtoto wa nadi si wako aliara nje kijana yake kwa mali wa mzungu akaambua wewe na your mom nje ana wetia polisi oh na mnasema wazungu ndio wazuri sisi ndio wazuri wa hii gozi mnaona ni vile tu mnatudhara sisi ni wazuri eh upendo wetu unaenda pole po sema wazungu ni wabaya lakini ai tabia ingine mimi sitaki au mbarikiwe eh mkae na amani ya Yesu hii haya kedi ni wahubiria injiri ya Yesu amen hallelujah so it's important to know you need fellowship you need ukisikia kama ni crusade uwe kama ni conference uwe hapo na si kama ile ya chama hiyo ni fellowship of the holy spirit hallelujah now katika meza ya bwana ambao tuko nayo leo mungu ameniambia hallelujah 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 katika nguvu zake Yesu za kufufuka we are going to the next step oh my god sema my next step taito yetu is my next step in Jesus name i want to the truth you must change you must change nawaambia mtabadilika umekaa nyumba moja actually unatakiwa kukaa nyumba baada ya miaka 5 miaka 4 hivi hata kama ni yako usikie kupanua why tabia ambayo Mungu ametupatia ni hii daima daima you are moving na utamalizia heaven let me say this katika holy communion ambao tunashiriki leo the god i serve and the god of the holy communion anataka kupeleka hii kanisa to the next step anaenda kupeleka wa mama hii kanisa to the next step na mjue Mungu ameongea ukishiriki leo bila msaha from today utaanza kusikia akili yako imekobolewa moyo wako umefunguliwa ah hakuna mtu hapa ana kazi mlango wako utafuguka kama hakika utakula meza ya Bwana leo na moyo wako wote hakuna mtu hata ona mlango mbele kama unaamini sema amen in jesus name In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> Unajua mirango ufuguka. Haya, sikiza. Peter aliwekwa jera. Kusoma Acts chapter 12. Na vikosi 444. Aliridwa na askari 16. Na ako jera. Na Herod alikuwa amepanga Siku nyingine amtoe amkate kichwa ili wale wanaopinga injili wafurahie Bible yasema Herod akijiada asubuhi kumuua Did you hear that When Herod was ready the following day kucha maraika wa Bwana naye akaingia mbele ya Herod Jesus I give you praise your next step na usikize kama kuna jabu la aibu umepangiwa niangalie ni vizuri as long as uko kwa hii ibada na huna mchezo before they enter the age of the lord you are alive early i speak the voice of the holy spirit <sighs> wewe ambao kuna blood pressure kwa maana kuna hatari iko mbele I, i announce prophetically before that danger that threat is implemented 
the age of the Lord your life are Father, I give you praise. Just tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Hallelujah. Now listen, let me read this scripture now. Acts 3 verse 4. Alipo kuisha kumkamata Peter. Haka mweka gerezani. Haka mtia mikononi mwavikozi vine. Vya, vya askari wana wane. Wamulinde. Akitaka baada ya pasaka kumtoa. Na kumweka bere ya watu. Amuwe, amuwaibishe. Sijui nani hapa. Kuna hatali imepangwa. Kuna aibu imepangwa. Kuna threat imepangwa. I don't know who you are. Jesus. I just sense kuna watu wakona hiyo mambo. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Are you there? Verse 6. Are you there? Stuck your screen. Read from your Bible. Mama boy, toa Bible ya. Unajua, hii utayasha kanisani. Bible tada ya nyobani. Acts 12 verse 6. Na hizi notu muandike. This prophetic. Unajua kitu kumeja kinakua shida. Is when we preach prophetic message. Na huadiki. Iyo ni nafanya munga seme. Utaona wengine wakitendewa. We utashiriki. Kwa mana buwana hata atimiza unabi. Abao huku dhamini na huku andika. I'm speaking something prophetic. In Jesus name. The God we serve is intervening. Verse 6, Acts 12, verse 6 says, Hata wakati, Heronde, alipotaka kumtoa. Did you get that? Did you get that? Heronde, di alikuwa muwe. Siakotayari. That's how God you work. Hata wakati, Heronde, hmm, Hallelujah. Alipotaka kumtoa. Usiku ule ule. Petru. Alikuwa. Analala. Katikati ya askari wawiri. Amefungwa. Minyoro miwiri. Walinzi bele ya murango. Wakaida grezani. Malaika wabwana. Akasema makalibu na ye. Father I give you praise. Because. They are planning something, but they don't know you have released your angel to start before me. Hata herode alipokuwa kipanda kumtoa amuwe. The angel of the Lord arrived early. Nini? Muamini mungu. Believe in the Lord your God and ye shall be established. Believe in his prophet and you shall prosper. I speak to you a very powerful message. Kuna watu hapa wengine hata hawajui wamepangiwa mabaya. But the angel of the Lord will your life bele. Hiyo shima hutaingia. Hiyo machozi hutalia. Hiyo ajali haitatokea. Hiyo pigo la watoto wako haitatokea. I say the age of the Lord your life early. Father, I give you praise for you are great God. None can compare with you, Lord. You nama shata babu. Just tell God I worship you. For you are my hope. You are my hope. You are my strength. You are my righteousness. I look up to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, receive your deliverance. I sense the angels coming now. I sense the intervention of God coming. God knows you are in this service. I worship you, King of Kings. Bible says, Alipotaka kumtoa amwe. The angel arrived just then. Hallelujah. 
Basa ma, mara maraika wa bwana Akasimama You see Basa ma hivi Mara Mara means immediately before Herod ya kuje The age of the Lord Akasimama kalimu na ye Nuru Ikamulika mule chubani Kwa maana umeko katika hali ya giza God has his own light Hata kama umeweko katika giza na maumivu when the angel takes over, God does not only come, he comes also with his environment. I say, God, you come with his environment. God will not, Mungu hata opa nuru ya Kenya power. He will come with his own light. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hata kama wamekata stima, God, you must bring his own light. In Jesus' name. When the angel enters, Nuru ikaja kwa jera. Na nuru ipoja kwa jera. The angel started his work. Instead of death being implemented. Freedom will be released. Bible inasema kitu hapa mboki ya nishitia moyo sana. Alipo kuja. Aka mpiga petero ubavuni. Aka muamusha. The first thing. One thing ambao watu wamefanyiwa because you are so frustrated umelala unakuta akili yako imelala one thing the age of you do amen nikukuamsha he will raise you up the first step of your deliverance is rising up he he struck peter on his side and raised him up saying, Arise quickly. Why does God need to change your position? One, God wants to change your position because anytime mutu amewezwa, unarazimika kuwa na position ambao ni akuezwa. The way this man was chained, even the mind was oppressed. And therefore God will first of all command you to rise up. Easy akiri mukonazo zita amushwa. Utazikia akiri na kimbia kuliko computer. Ideas imejaa kwa kichwa. Ukirara badaya yako na doto za uchafu na doto za ushetani uta <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unazunguzwa munji moja ya dunia. Unaonyazwa Zurich, Sydney, Johannesburg. Unatembezo na mba. You see all this? Yes. All these territories you have right to occupy. Unaona things happening. Jesus will strike you and command you to arise. Hallelujah. The second step of deliverance, chains started falling. Bible I say me malika liguza hizo vitu. No. Tamsikize. Kuna jambo bwana atakwambia ufanye. Linalo husu rising up. And all other things will follow the command. The command of the angel will be followed by the chains. Peter alipoambiwa amka. Minyororo hata minyororo iti ikajiangusha yenyewe. And his chains fell of his hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, verse 8, Maraika kamuambia, jifunge, kavaye viatu viyako, akavanya hivyo. Kisha kamuambia, jivike nguwa yako, ukanifuate. Amen. These commands were like three. Ya kwaza, rise up. Sinikweli. Amen. Ya pili ikasema akamwambia oh, haya sikiza ya kwanza ilikuwa ilikuwa akam nikumpiga ubavuni akamwambia rise up. Ya pili aliposema rise up minyororo yake ikaanguka. Maraika akamwambia jifunge va viatu. Akafanya hivyo. Akamwambia tena Jivike nguo, akafanya hivyo. Ya tato kamambia, follow me. Akatoka inje, akamfuata. Kufika kwa murango, mirango ikajifugua yenyewe. Ya 
Hebu sikizeni. Umeweka uchugu usioelewa. Don't believe in it. The Lord is coming before Herod. Satan I rebuke you. Devil I curse your works. Ninaachia damu ya Yesu ikaondoe kila hovu mlio nao. Naachia damu ya Yesu ikaondoe kila uongo unaowakalia. Naachia damu ya Yesu ikaondoe kila imani paya. Na pasa papoka. Naachia damu ya Yesu ikaondoe kila barabara ya giza. For the Lord is commanding to rise up. Na kuna minyoro itaanguka. Alipopita kwa mirango. Eh sikiza, kulikuwa na malaika wa Merida about 16. Can you imagine murango ya chuma ilichifungua yenyewe na wale soldiers hawakujua Kitu kingine nataka ni kwamba siraha ambazo Mungu atatumia sio za kimwili God will rescue you beyond your might Kwa hivyo kama what the devil has done ni kukufunga in a way hata ukiangalia minyoro yenyewe unavunjika moyo Ukiangalia mirango ambayo ime imefuga hiyo njera ni ya chuma ukiangalia unavunjika moyo but hakuna hata mnyororo hata moja hautati Mungu ninamtumikia na leo katika meza ya Bwana mjiadae for that deliverance for your next door iko nyinyi mnaenda bali sana nimeonesha na Mungu wengi mmefungwa kwa njia ambaye mnauoga mambo mnaopitia ukijaribu kufikiria kabisa unasikia kuogopa minyoro iliyofuga pita agaiangalia hivi he was hopeless mirango ni ya chuma mtu mmoja wapendwa amelindwa na askari 16 that was threatening but god has come na sio kesho sahi na tutaka hapo shiriki meza ya bwana receive the age of the lord receive god's rescue na mtajua mungu ameongea kwa maana kutoka sasa by Sunday there will be a lot of testimonies here. Jesus raise you. Let's start for Holy Communion now. Shanda raba kasha taraba zende rumbo shuta raba bozai. Ina mikono yako to just worship the Lord. Hmm. Ina mkono as we sing this song. Mikono kiwa ju. Mwamba wenye imara kwa koni Maji hayo na damu yaliyo toka humu huni safi na dambi huni fanya mshindi Bwana damu yako na maji dio toka sio tu dhabi naondoa inanifanya mshindi ama katarabosa rika posota shetani wewe hii roho ya heronde imefunga watu kwa jia ambao hata akili za watu zinawoga but god i thank you kwa maana masaya ale tumepangiwa kifo tumepangiwa aimpu bere watu na bere ya wapinga kristo the age of the lord we are alive before and lord i thank you because katika meza ya bwana leo you are intervening something is happening kwetu na watoto wetu na nyumba zetu can you say yourself to god shararaba bashata baba zakaraba boshetere mazanda Maika kosati ne masia yonda raraba bo shakata raba bo sayo mikatha ba kashata raba zanda shindere masia lakata bo yamba baba just pray and pray and pray in the name of Jesus say na raba bo sakira raba bo sayo naika baba 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 bo sayo just continue praying and praying. Jesus is at work. Nataka utaje hiyo kitu napitia. Mention it. Mention it. Abia bana kushukuru because you are coming. Mm. Oh yes Lord. King of kings, I praise you. Lord of lords, I worship you. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you something is happening something is happening in this church Ebu tuendere sasa <clears throat> Kwa maana mimi Nalipokea kwa buwana Nilio wapa nanyi Ya kwa buwana yesu Usiku ule aliotolewa alitoa mkate naye akisha kushukuru akaumega akasema huu ndio mwili wangu ulio kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukubusho wangu lord um mwili wako taupokea na katika huu mwili wote wagonjwa walio hapa waponywe na vita yote tunaopitia ifike mwisho na utukuke baada kukula kristo akakitoa kikombe na kisha kushukuru akawapa wanafunzi wake akasema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnywapo kwa ukubusho wa kristo Father, we receive the blood of the sacrifice in your son. Na sasa bwana wa bwana. Tutafakari ukua hii damu. Tutafakari we survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died. Tunapoona ulishinda adui wa mwisho na kaburi liko tupu na malaika akasema juni muangalie amefufuka kama alivyosema twasema asante kwa maana mambo yote uliyotuahidi it is possible just as you are na sasa ahadi zitimie leo tunaposhiriki ahadi zitimie leo kama ulivyofufuka tupe ushidi juu ya yote neno lako baba litenda maajabu in the name of the Lord. Tukataka kila muta pokea kikombe. Just come receive very quickly. Muna upea na mpeane kwa utulifu. Mbwana wabariki. Mbwana wabariki. Kila muta kaya kwa maombi. Usiagali ya mtu kama ukuji be in prayer. Kila muta kaya kwa maombi. Be in prayer. Usinyamaze. Omba. Mwambie mbwana. Today is my rescue. Today is my blessing day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Tufanya araka tabadhali. God bless you so much. The Lord you keep you. The Lord you anoint you. Unashiriki kwa sababu umeokoka na umeacha dhambi. Una Unashiriki sababu umeokoka. Umeokoka. Sasa a kama hujaokoka usishiriki lakini usikae kwa kiti na usiende nje uche uokoke. Watoto wachanga chini ya miaka mbili hawashiriki. We give you chance to know very well how God has set you free in Jesus name let's continue kijitocha utakaso ulida
tafadhali unapokuja kuchiriki meza ya Bwana usicheke kama you no know, you see this is carefree be so serious and in prayers Kristo hako damu sarabani kucheza haikuwa msaha hii si kitu tu tunapangia laini ni mwili wa damu Yesu Kristo be in prayer be in prayer no siogea na mtu usiogea na mtu be in prayer tutore akaso ni zambe kuoshwa kumo na msifu kwa na kwa hiyo nimepata Yeah. 